Well, welcome to Martinez Design in our, as usual, that we do in creating projects. So, in this time around, we are starting another beautiful project to be precise. So, among what we have done in the previous one, so we are starting another one, and this time around, it's going to be terrace building. So, I'm going to click on the new project. So, you select the template. How you select the template, wherever you have your template is actually so you go to browser and you pick a template that is suitable. So I'm going to choose a template of uh, Martinez Design. So I'm opening it to click open, then you start your projects in a proper way. So this is the format of my world, of my brand, that is my company template that I have already created. If you want to know the way you create your own template in your for yourself, you see one of my pictures, video on the tutorial aspects. I have a lot of that I've done like this. So, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel at the same time, like at the same time, share. So, let me give you a preamble of where I'm going to in terms of the race that I'm talking about. So, this is the terrace building I'm talking about. So, this is a live project. So, this is a five apartment terrace building. And it's part in certain the camera and give a few like this. So we are going to create everything from beginning and how you arrange them, how you create a separate file and make it in multiple and that your file is not going to be too tedious for you to be used, uh, to make use of or manipulate in whatsoever you want to do. So if you have any external uh, rendering aspect, what you can do to it. So this is going to be taught in this particular uh, project. So let's start by going on in our usual manner. So now let's start. So the first thing you do according to the template, because most of these things have been set up by using it. So I'm going to click on the wall. So now I have a predefined wall which I'm using. So you can check whether it's made of the standard of it. So you have 90 wall, which is two to five. And whatsoever else you need to do, you get it. So it depends on the material you want to use. So that one will be dealt with as we progress and continue. So unconnected that that you have chosen. Which is what you are seeing here you can change it from here change it from this side again since you are in level one you must change it to three uh, meter which is three hundred uh, three thousand millimeter so you start your project straight away by going for design so how do we start before you first start off it's a ground floor plan and all that this thing where we have at that position so you can look at it from the elevation from there you derive the particular aspect of which you want to this dish out your design form so each apartment carry like a four grid i mean three grid on their whole so we're not going to start with the grid line we want to start with the measurement of reality now let's start you click on the wall and you start the project straight up so this is the first sectional box so how do we have it now the funny part of this project is that it does not have any landmarks it does not have any language, but just the proper presentation of how the whole idea is going to be for whenever we design something like this. A terrace house have a very unique difference from every other design. But if you look at the way you measure the design, the duplex, that actually is going to give you the proper confidence of how you do the terrace building. So this aspect is done, the concept is going to be reliable and done with easiness. So I'm done with this, which I'm going to click on let's say this is going to be part of the tutorial system so this one you look at the measurements like i was used to say you can just like let me leave the measurements here so you should i be following through so the measurement of this as well you follow through so you'll be able to follow step by step how i'm doing this one so this is aspects like the concept of the i'm bringing this to be a city room the full area of this one should be like uh, just let's be like 2400 going to define the whole space according to the way they should be so increase this one to like 4000 good so the next one you need to do is to do another line to this particular place it outside and then you have something like 3000 to this position good so as that being done the next thing you do is close it up here then you begin to arrange these segments one after the other so the aspect in which i have here is that when you look at the concept of that realistic building you see that the entrance is somewhere here 
So this is the entrance, this is the this is the entrance porch and this is the entrance and things like that. So let us detail the ground floor plan for the first time. Now we are going to be stapling the OT one after the other because it's not like the one we do the old plan then get it done. So I'm going to be giving this. This is going to be a temporary door. Let me just use the wood flush door. I think I have that in this position. So let me choose this. So I have the wood up here. Good. So that is stated. So here yeah, I'm going to have a temporary window which I'm going to replace in the future. So I can click on it. So if it's okay by me, just leave it for now. So the next thing is that you do this and demarcate this position, which is what's good for you. So this is sitting to this is entering into a main living room. There is no anti room in this particular building, but the beauty aspect of it is that there's another uh, okay, what is it called? Another living room which is on this side. So this is just a beginning one. And this is the main one that everyone sits with. Then after which we design to create a stair hall on this side that everyone will climb to enter into the main house. So then we have a kitchen to arrange at this desk, this side. So how do we do that? We go by stating the whole orientation aspects. So click here, drag, and then okay. I think we have this in place now. Escape. We can put this one at the side. I can just like delete this. Let me see how far my concept will go around this state. So I'm bringing this to to a position. So when you design like architect, you take a time, just like you rack your brain to get your things done in the proper way so as you are doing it you rethink and you think and you think again so you have this in position so this is the stair this is the so you divide this into two so after which you have done this one the spacing have been programmed and be rearranged so what you need to do is now to space them and see how the connection they are going to be given to one another so here is i've done this i see this one is going to be like a a inner just going to be like an inner living room so at that place um, i'm having going to have kitchen at this position then definitely i'm going to introduce another room to this point so this is going to be like a lobby to everything so but you have to be very careful when you are doing things like this because why the ventilation and the and every other thing need to be what put closer because you remember that this one is going to it's not going to have an open to the back something like that you have a, a what is it called here now that you are going to have a cross ventilation across that you're going to be have enough lighting to a space that is more darker so this is how you need to be very careful when you are doing this to your design aspect so what am i going to do now is that since i've gotten this place as a little bit of a uh, so I'm going to create my kitchen and my kitchen is going to be an open to what? Open to dining. So kitchen and dining are going to maintain this certain distance. So I'm going to create a little bit of, this is going to start as my store. Start as a store, this side. And this is going to be like a, a room whatsoever it might be called. So, so that that place will be center for something specific. So when this one is going to be like a room, then you need to have something like a toilet to be used. So this is going to be a lighting aspect to this position. And therefore you can just arrange your basic on that level of lighting. So what, am I, what have I done here is that I'm going to expand this good for me. 62 bits and then you have it in this way so let us quickly do a little bit of connectivity and uh, which is we going to be used for door so click on the door so another one is opening here so you enter to this space so here now you have uh so other two things you need to do here one you can have a door that is connected directly but here i'm going to go to use door i'm going to use arc enter into this position why this one is going to be a little bit not going to open but it's have its own door to enter that position again so there are three doors that open into this position 
so if they want to enter here you can enter through this place and then they connected to this aspect so what do you do you click on this and say break into two go to annotate and you say break so when you break it you adjust it bring it here at the same time bring it close here so dining is here the kitchen is here open kitchen to the dining and the mini store then definitely you're going to have what is the race at the side at the back so i'm going to remove this so done with this one now get a door and connect it together and make it in a single floor door so go down here select a standard door for the aspects then you connect it outside again then this place you're going to have a kitchen i mean bathroom to this then you have a bed in this space and whatsoever nets you need again that should be enough so the staircase is going to be here so the, the staircase quietly might not need the precise so just like having a temporary place so adjust it a bit so whenever we design the stairs part we see so this design is not a permanent one for now because there's still more to hit to change in the due course but it's especially you need to brief yourself up for the reality that is coming so this is the design of the beginning utens so the next thing is that let me quickly create the floor so that i will have the idea of what the floor area is going to be so click here and say pick a line so good so this is what you can just close this up then trim everything that is trimmable to so draw this to close down to this and you finish this up so that is what you do here you click finish then you have the plan in your space so for you to be connected and those who want to watch let me quickly annotate this so that you'll be able to know what you are doing so let me do a small annotation so this is the dimension so you should follow through when you are drawing your own aspect do everything in connection with the full idea that we are working up think this one will guide you this especially this is not a permanent design from now so adjustment can still be made and we'll still work on that so this is what you your attention should focus on so pure now let me quickly give you a state of reality let's say this is what living so you can just like do, do that this is This is called inner part. Inner part. And this one is called kitchen. Inner dining. Do not bother doing your thing the, the whole point being bubbles. So it does not matter. So this is one we call it room. So it's going to be like middle. So we have this one now. Just select this and say go to edit property when you go to edit properties all you just need is to change the test size so click here and it's change it to two and everything is going to be smaller so you have that in position so that is if you have your own problem that is how you edit text in this in this position in project so if you have something issue like that like your letter are more bigger so you do that so this is what the aspect of what i just want you to do so you can just like click on some templates and bring some template to this so that everything is going to be fitted to you so i'm using this one here here now good so another one component so select the component again if you have any other one that are more suitable and more reasonable to what you are doing so i have any other one like kitchen so i'm going to put that and place it here or oh, let me just put it on one side because good so every other thing i need to arrange, click here and see the dining just select so it's not the finishing product for this person so that we are still in the process of what of getting what we want to do so the diameter of this so let me choose the middle one so i'm putting this one here so 
that is it for this project and this is what we are going to do for now so in the next topic we are going to develop it more and properly go to the upper floor and go and do so you know understand the way we do here all what you just need to do subscribe keep notification because daily we are going to continue this until we have successfully build it so thanks remember this is the level where we are going to and we are going to arrive there as we honor so thanks for watching god bless you see you in the next tutorial